the comparison between photochemical smog and normal smog that is sulfurous smog. This smog is mainly created by nitrogen oxide and volatile organic compounds while this smog is created by sulfur oxides. The main source of these gases is vehicular emission while the main source of these uh, gases is from power plants using uh, fossil fuels like coal because coal have coal has a lot of sulfur in it therefore we can see that the smoke that is produced by these plants also has sulfur dioxide and this sulfur dioxide then creates sulfurous smog this is called los angeles smog because this kind of smog was first observed in los angeles where due to large number of vehicles there were smog this is called london smog because it was first observed in london where there were large number of thermal plants around london and their smoke created this sulfurous smog the next is the favorable conditions we see that the photochemical smog requires sunlight while the sulfurous smog requires moisture it is the combination of this sulfurous smog and fog which creates this sulfurous smog we need the smoke while here it is the sunlight which causes photo dissociation and there is reactions so no smoke is required for photochemical smog this is called summer smog while this is called winter smog here we need fog and fog occurs in winters here we need sunlight an ample amount of sunlight is present in summer this occurs in the afternoon and this occurs in the morning let's see the major chemicals involved in both of these smogs in photochemical smog we have seen that nitrogen oxides and volatile organic compounds along with sunlight they produce nitrogen dioxide ozone pan and aldehydes while here the mixture of sulfur dioxide and fog it creates sulfuric acid now these kind of gases they are mainly oxidizing elements while sulfuric acid and the other gases which are present over here they are reducing agents so this fog is oxidizing and this fog is reducing now the color of photochemical smog is brown because of presence of nitrogen dioxide while here we see that the color of smog is gray because of presence of black carbon and particulate matter in the smog so when these thermal plants they emit smoke it includes black carbon and particulate matter which is generated due to incomplete combustion of coals in the power plants these are all the gases which are involved here and these are all the gases involved in the sulfurous smoke we have already discussed both of them if you have liked this video then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon please follow us on our social media handles thank you